Hi everyone! I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I am about to start filming my first ever Dylan dying video. But since I'm going to have this powder, I figured why not try to put some dry powder on some yarn as we're getting things going. Uh, so I'm planning to take what's left over in the packet after I mix up the yarn and add that on to another skein of 100% cotton yarn. This is 113 grams of Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. And I'm just sort of placing this in a container here and we'll try adding some residual dry dye onto this as we go. That's just a little side experiment. I can't help myself. <laughs> now Dylan really needs salt. Um, so when I sprinkle the dye on this yarn, I'm not going to have any salt in the powder yet, but after we let this sit for, it'll probably sit on here for about an hour, we can then, once we've potentially used the rest of the dye, we can probably add this to that pot so we can get some salt and we'll see if we get speckles or maybe just a pastel, but I think it should be fun. I've never dyed with Dylan before and so I've got two experiments with one packet and let's see what can happen. I have my first real test going in the pot next to me and things look black and wonderful. There is still a little bit of residual dye powder left in the package. And the packages would actually have been easy to get most of it into the container, but I tried to reserve a tiny bit. But given that this was a 50 gram container, I definitely have less than a gram in my hand. So I'm now going to take this and sort of sprinkle this onto, not all the yarn, but I had sort of spread it out uh, so that I could get some coverage. And then this rest I'm just going to sort of tap. There, onto the yarn and we'll see what happens. I'm expecting the color will spread out a fair amount like it did when we tried with tie-dye powder, but you really never know. Um, we could end up uh, with some darker speckles. And so depending on how the other experiment goes, I'll either dunk this into this dye bath that we see over here, or maybe we'll try steam setting it. But right now, it's looking pretty cool. I'll zoom in for you. Check it out. Ooh, I see flecks of orange. Is it breaking? Oh, it would be so cool if that stayed. I see flecks of orange and navy blue in here and then some darker spots that could be black. Oh, I really, really hope this sticks around. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I think that this is so, so, so cool. So anyway, I know that this is going to need to wait at least an hour before um, anything else can happen. So I will come back in an hour and we'll see what's happening with our yarn. It has been a little over an hour and you can see that our little dots of color have spread out considerably. I haven't touched or moved this fiber at all yet, but now you can sort of see these orange, or really it's more of a rust colored spots that were within this packet of dye. I think, even though I was inclined to go and dunk this in the other dye bath, thinking that we might get a gray, I think that there's a lot of color left in that dye bath. So I'm inclined to shortly, maybe after another 20 minutes or so, go and try to wash this and see just how much color is left. The color has spread out considerably and I'm really curious about the depth. It did certainly go through more than just that top layer. But let's add this to our wash basin and see what we get. And I'm curious if the process of washing will cause uh, some of this white to take on a hue, if the dye will stick around, if it won't. There are many, many related questions. 
And again, this water has not had any salt in it yet. Um, just the dye on top of it. Um, this is not the labeled, the labeled instructions here. We just added some dye powder straight onto our awesome free soap yarn. And I'm expecting there to be a fair amount of bleeding. But the only color that we had present was black. Um, and so the fact that we have these yellow flecks, I mean, the, the dye packet itself is probably a mixture. But amazingly enough, it looks like we have some speckles. And I have not heated this. This has been at room temperature this entire time. So we'll just now have to see how much of the color stays and how much of it rinses out. But looking pretty good, guys. It looks like we got a speckled cotton yarn. That's awesome. I'm now adding just some Dawn dish soap to help rinse things out. Um, I'm, you know, I put on gloves for this process, but I'm about at the point where I'd be comfortable removing the gloves. Um, in a little while, I will let this soak in some water, but the reason why I'm not letting it stay in too long yet is I really don't want the color to, well, actually, I suppose I don't mind if the white takes on a little bit other color, but now we will just keep rinsing it until the water runs clear. And I will come back while the yarn is still wet so we can think about, take a closer look and think about it a little bit. I do want to add that while there is a lot, and by a lot of bleeding, I mean we're getting a pastel bleeding, but the bleeding carries through multiple, multiple washes. This is something that we observed with the more solid black yarn we dyed with this same dye. I don't think that this is a result of not having salt around. I think that there's just excess undone dye and we have to remove it. But the, you know, we're in a very pastel mode right now. And I know that this cotton yarn is so absorbent that it's just hard to, it's a sponge. And so it's hard to rinse out the liquid that's in it. Because of the way I spread the yarn out, we got some really good coverage of heavy speckles in one area and then lighter speckles throughout the rest of the yarn. I could take this and dye this from another method, but I am so excited to have a speckled cotton that I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then show you the finished yarn. We got speckled cotton, we got speckled cotton. I am a little excited that this worked. We didn't have any salt, we didn't have any heat. We just added some of this dry Dylan hand dye on top of wet 100% cotton yarn. And we got speckles! I am especially excited because when I tried this with the tulip tie dye, we saw the color spread out a lot. And when I used this Dylan hand dye on and submerged the 100% cotton, it got really, really good coverage. It absorbed really slowly. So I did not have high expectations for these discreet little speckles. We only used the black dye, but we got a combination of navy, maybe charcoal gray, and some yellow rust colored speckles. I am absolutely going to need to play with this technique more in the future with other colors and just explore speckling not just cotton yarn with these Dylan hand dyes. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I am so excited that this worked. We have successfully speckled some Lily Sugar and Cream 100% cotton yarn with black Dylan hand dye. What more could you ask for? <laughs> there is a lot of dye left in my black vat and I have plans to dye a lot more yarn with this. So stay tuned for more exciting videos on dyeing yarn with Dylan hand dye. If you don't wanna miss them, 
make sure you subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. I love exploring different ways to apply color to yarn, and right now we're in the middle of cellulose week, where I am focusing on methods to dye cotton-based yarn. Finally, if you're already a Chemnitz fan and would like to support us on a more personal level, check out the Chemnitz Patreon. You can find a link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.